on guys so about five years ago i did a video on me showing all my my lures and jigs for rockfish and ling cod that video did really well you guys seem to like that stuff so i'm just gonna kind of do an updated version of that it's been five years uh um, five or six years or so so everything's changed lures jigs rods reels it's a uh, it's changed a lot we always get new product new stuff new techniques so i'm just gonna go over some of these stuff some of the new stuff i'm using here um, a lot of this comes from right here from this guy, lincodjigs.com. He makes some pretty good stuff. A good guy. Uh, really unique product. Really effective for rock fishing lincod. This is one of my favorites right here. This is the Dragon Slayer. They come from different sizes, from six ounces all the way to like 16 ounces, maybe even heavier. But I normally just use the, uh, I just use like the 12s, 8s, 10s. 16th at the most if I need to if I'm going really deep, but I like to fish light fish light tackle even in deep water It may take me a little longer to get down there But it's more effective because that that beats just it's not dragging the bottom. It's kind of at a, at a scope It's just cruising through right above and they just can't resist that stuff um, I'll take you back to one of, one of my older jigs that I got from him. It's one of the old link killers We look at it. It's all chewed up pieces of stuff are falling off grubs all destroyed but look at it, it's still going. I think it's even got some it's got some blood on there, you know. So that's that's an original right there. This color right here in the Ling Killer jigs is really effective. It's orange, looks like a canary or something, some kind of an orange rockfish that they like, golden eye or whatever it is. They love that stuff. This is one of my one of my OG jigs right here. This is one of the copper killers, you know. Old school. This is like when he first started, I first got these. These are one of my last ones that I have left, you know. But um you can find this one. This one's really, really good. You know, that, that copper with the red grub on there. That is, is deadly. Um, he also now has uh, these octopus jigs. He gave me this one. He showed me this under the light. It was really, uh, really possible with that UV light. You can only imagine what it does down below. You know, 100, 200 feet deep, 300 feet deep. This is pretty cool, too. I'll be using that. Um, He's also got these new squid jigs for all you, you guys that fish Monterey, Santa Cruz, Happen Bay. Your squid, these will be deadly as well. So I'll be tossing these. I'll be fishing in Monterey with some friends this year. So one of the other ones I like that he just came up with too, which I thought was pretty, it's pretty awesome. He's got these banana jigs. You know, we all know the bananas are bad luck, right? But I don't know. I think Lincoln like bananas. They need their, you know, their banana fix. So go ahead and check that out. Let's see what else we got. Here, check this one out. This is one of the old schools. Look at that. That thing is just destroyed. It's still going though. Needs a new paint job. You know, need to rebuild, but it'll still work. There's a glow. It's all white glow jig in the Link Killer. You notice they're all about the same. I use about eight to ten ounces at the most. Really effective for me. Let's see. For, for those of you guys that uh, like to fish down south, Santa Barbara and all that, these will be pretty effective. It's kind of like a flat fall, but it's wrapped in that in that red pattern, like a red crab. These will work. They'll probably work down here for Cabazone and uh, a little shallower waters. These fish like to eat crab and shrimp and whatnot. Uh, the other thing, too, that he's got now is these flies. That, uh, you can put it right above your jig, like a dropper loop almost, as a teaser. Uh, put that at just right above your jig, your jig on the bottom, you probably pull up two fish, or you'll get that uh, hitchhiker to strike, you know. Uh, one of the other things I do a lot of too is I just pro through predator, it's really deadly. Uh, smear this all over your jig, it creates a big old scent trail. It's This one's UV enhanced, as a UV flash as you can see right there. Uh, what's, what that does is it allows them to see it more. You know, they're both UV flash there. Um, Let's go over the rods here, okay? So these are the rods I'm, I'm running now. This one right here is, uh, I'm trying to break it. This is a Seeker right here. It's an Inshore Pro 808, okay? This is a 15 to 25 pound rod. It will handle all those, all your jigging needs. Here, I'll put a link in the video. You guys check this out from Seeker. I have it paired up right here with the low key reels DC 1200. Uh, this one's got 26 pounds of drag, I believe. Uh, holds a lot of line, really powerful. Has a cool power handle there. Um, got some really good reels. 
from low key and they're not too crazy priced. So that's what I'm running now. This one it's, it's a DC 1400. Okay, this one's got 22 pounds of drag. It's a little bigger body. Uh, it's got a seven to one gear ratio. And I got this one paired up also with the, with the custom seeker. Don't ask me what it is. I found it in the factory. I thought it'd be cool as it matched this raw, this is real. And it's actually pretty close to my intro pro. It's a little shorter. So it's probably like a, I'd say like about like a 15 to 20 pound rod, but uh, got a lot of backbone. You know, be good for rockfish and lean cod, halibut, and all that good stuff. But the one thing I do too is I also, I like to connect my leader. I put a piece of leader on there. I just put a, put the braid straight to the floral, just like that. You know, use an RP knot or Alberto knot, whatever you call it. Okay, so that way if you do snag on the bottom, you're not losing all your braids. You're just using that, that piece of that piece of floral and maybe a jig. Um, one of the things I wanted to go over with you guys is I see people do this all the time. You know, they're dropping jigs down, hit the bottom, and they're just up and down, up and down, up and down. You don't need to do that. So that's, you know, may work in some places, but honestly, the simplest things I do is I let it hit the bottom and say this is the bottom, hits the bottom, I just bring it up a little bit and just twitch, twitch. Underwater, I think it's going to flutter a little more. Twitch, twitch. That's it. You know, I'll show you with the movement of the rod real quick. You know, if I'm fishing, I'm just sitting there holding the rod and just a little... I'll do it this so you can see it. Okay? Just a little slight movement, just like... A little twitch. Not this and this and this. and That doesn't, doesn't do anything. If you really think about it, these link cod and rockers are looking for the easiest meal to get. Now, if you keep jerking that bait when it's doing this, this fish is sitting there trying to eat, how hard is that for them to get it? Versus something just sitting there just kind of twitching, 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 boom, you just grab it, okay? You want to make it as easy as possible for these things to eat, you know? That's what works for me. I know everybody has their own method. You guys try it out. But uh, make sure you check out these link cod jigs. They've got a huge selection of uh, different options for you to catch your rockfish and link cod. So these, these link killers right here are my go-tos. Um, but so far, this Dragon Slayer is deadly as cast approved, okay? This stuff is fire. This stuff will just, even on a bad day, when you're not, no one's getting anything, go ahead and drop one of these down. You'll see. I did a video with, with a buddy of mine two years ago at a bodega. Uh, got limits in half hour. Got four or five link cod right away. I think I caught nine that day before noon. Um, I was giving them out left and right. I just couldn't keep them off. Deckhand was next to me the whole day. Uh, I won the jackpot first and second place fish. They're pretty big. You know, I'll put a link at the end of this video so you can check that video out. And you see, I'm just jigging. I'm you know, just jigging these, these lures. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and try that. I don't add any uh, any bait to them either. I just, I just go straight jigs. Uh, the second part of this video, I'm going to show you some of the swim baits I use. Those are also from Adam Lures. Um, that should help you a lot too. A lot of times, your shallow water just, just drop a swim bait down. You know, those also work. Or smaller, these smaller version of these jigs. You know, these little squid jigs like he's got. You know, here's a smaller version. Something as simple as that'll work as well. Okay, um, so go ahead and check those out. You know, so hopefully that helps you guys. Rockfish opens up in April. Hopefully this whole shelter in place is done with. Um, kind of ridiculous. We all want to fish. We need to get back in the water. Um, you guys stay safe. Hope you like this video. The next video I'm putting up is going to cover all the swim baits and all the lures I use for stripers and halibut in the bay. Um, we're going to cover from shore fishing to striper boils, all the way to digging with you know, the swim baits for halibut. So hopefully you guys... Uh, catch that video make sure you're subscribed make sure you like this video you comment you share it hit the notification bell so you guys can see what's coming up next we'll have some giveaways i think uh when i hit when i hit 10,000 subs we'll do a really big giveaway okay someone might win a trip with me to mexico go to baja and go fishing all right so hey what's going on guys so this is part two of this video the rock fishing link cod tips um now i'm going to go over a lot of the swim baits i use so you can also, you know, like I said, you can also use swim baits and jigs. You're going to find a time for each one of the two, okay? Um, when I'm in shallow water, you know, under 100 feet, I like to go swim baits. 
I also use them really deep. I use them at the Fairlawns, you know, 280 80 feet or whatnot. Um, with some friends, uh, we go really, really small, you know. You'd be surprised how this gets down there. Um, the advantage of this, you go a little lighter. I think this is like a two and a half, maybe three ounce head. Um, you drop this down here. It takes a little longer to fall, but if you're using light tackle like, like what I use, you know, use a lighter swim bait rod, maybe 40 pound braid or so, it gets down there. You know, what happens is it's not directly up and down like most of you guys are used to jigging. Now it's just kind of kind of sitting there, just right above the reef, okay? Which allows them to come up and just kind of grab that, okay? I like using these colors like this. You know, it's like a clear red with the, with the red flake with the red underbelly and a tail, okay? They like those colors. They seem to work really well for me. The other color I like too is just this just straight clear here. Just straight clear with the red flake. All right. These guys will eat this thing up as well. Okay. I used these last year with a buddy of mine in a Half and Bay. He did really well on his, uh, his little skiff. Uh, got a bunch of link cod right away. Uh, they also have this really unique color here. You know, like I said, I like to use these really unique colors because they're not used to seeing this stuff. Something like that that stands out that they haven't seen. It just attracts them, makes them want to bite. Uh, when you do go deep into deeper water, you know, you go to Fairlawns, you know, Point Reyes, Bodega Bay, all that stuff, then you can step it up, you know, go a little heavier, you know. You know this is a really big bait here, you know. This is also, this jig head is also from LinkCodJigs.com. He has these available for you. You can pair them up with these really big swim baits with the guys that Madame Lure make. I like, like I said, to pick those unique colors. It just stands out, you know. This kind of reminds me like the old Joker colors from the old Batman movie, you know. Um, so I dropped this down. Of course, I'll smother it with some Pro Cure and stuff. Uh, that always helps. Uh, they also, this is another color I found, you know, at their selection that they had at one of the shows recently. This, to me, kind of resembles like a, a rockfish, a canary, some kind of like, like vermilion. Um, just bigger link will just destroy this, just eat this up, you know. Look at that hook tits, it's really solid, really solid swim bait, they're tough, you know. Should last you quite a bit. Um, I also came across these right here, these short little stubby little baits I got. Super tough, look at that, like, probably catch a bunch of fish on them, and they would never fall apart. But, uh, again, you know, something different, really tough, you know. Probably catch a lot of fish on these guys, but I chose this because it looks... Kind of like a sardine, you know? It's got that whole different color pattern. Um, they also had this green one here I thought was pretty cool. It just kind of stands out. You know, a little clear water. Put that down there. Um, the last one I want to show you guys is got to be one of my favorites. I came across this at one of the shows, and they had this one right here. It's a, they call it the Baby Ling, you know? Um, that is badass. You know, we all know these Ling cod like to eat each other. So why not give them, you know, what they want, you know, something like that, really simple, just get it down there, you know, that should help you out a lot. So, um, go ahead and check out the guys over at Madam Lures, you know, they got a huge selection, I'll put a link in this video so you guys can check them out, and uh, like I said, just don't be afraid to use swim baits, you know, um, a lot of times see what you can do is, what I've, I've done in the past is... I put a teaser right above my swim bait. So let's say you're fishing, fishing a swim bait right here, right? You go maybe a foot and a half above. You put one of these guys, you know, those little flies that you get from uh, from wing cod jigs. You'd be surprised how many fish you get like that, you know? But uh, hopefully that helps you guys. You know, they have a really wide selection of swim baits over at Madden Lures. Go ahead and check them out. Um, go ahead and make sure you grab yourself some of these bigger jig heads or your bigger your bigger swim bait applications but uh you know go ahead and check those out um and it's really simple you know you guys are out there jigging you know like i said in the last video just a simple little twitch 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 all right it seems to work really well. as soon as the boat slows down i'm already casting i cast it out so by the time the boat comes to a complete stop that swim bait's already working its way right back to me most of the time by the time it gets back to me i'm already a bit um so, yeah, you guys go ahead and check that out. I said, a lot of options over at Madden Lures. Um, so, hopefully that helps. This is kind of what I'm using here. I showed you guys a few of my swim baits. I'll be running this season. So, we should do really well in rockfish and wing cod. 
I'll be doing another video pretty soon on the swim baits that I'm using for stripers in the bay when I do the striper boils. We jig for, for halibut and stripers in the bay, uh, even from the shore, what I would use. So I'll go over all that, you know, the swim baits, the lures, the rods. So appreciate you guys watching. Hopefully this helps. Make sure you grab yourself some Make sure you grab yourself some swim baits and we'll see you guys in the water. All right? Right in.